People from around the world are showing their support for Ukraine in any way that they can. A Chicago dance group is helping some of Ukraine's youngest victims by temporarily taking their minds off the war and onto the dance floor. Here's CBS's Adriana Diaz. This may look like a typical day of remote learning. <laughs> pets and all. They're telling about their day or showing us their pets, which is incredible given the circumstances. But these are the circumstances. The children are in Ukraine. We agreed not to show their faces for their safety. In Chicago, Nastia Latoska and Tanya Karapis are part of the Fromovetsia Ukrainian Dance Ensemble, which is using dance to distract. Our responsibility is to put a smile on our face, pretend like nothing's happening for those 45 minutes, and make it strictly about the dance lesson. That's it. Okay. Some spend their nights in bomb shelters, fear they try to forget. You did it as a Spider-Man, Tuck? with moves like the Spider-Man. We get joy from seeing them being joyful, but I get satisfaction knowing what kind of parents they have because you've seen the strength and resolve and resilience of the Ukrainian people and their patriotism. The dance school is in a Chicago neighborhood officially called Ukrainian Village. When we visited, even American kids were rallying, fighting for these children. They're our anchor of hope. They are our light. They remind us of what our purpose is. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Chicago.